PyCharm 2019.1 starts the year off with a bang. Complete reinvention of our Jupyter Notebook support, big features in the IDE platform and Python coding, and much more. Let's take a look at what's new in PyCharm 2019.1. PyCharm 2019.1 features all new direct Jupyter Notebook support. Simply open a .ipynb file in your project and the source looks like a regular Python file. As you edit, rendered changes appear in the sidebar, which can be toggled. Many professional features from the IDE are supported. Error and syntax highlighting, code completion, quick documentation, line commenting, organizing code, and some code intentions. We open the notebook file directly and only use the notebook server for executing cells. Thus, all changes are round trip, no export import is used, and all changes are reflected immediately. Notebooks are great at interacting with code. 2019.1 makes it easy to run cells, either with a mouse or familiar notebook hotkeys. Of course, it wouldn't be PyCharm without our professional visual debugger. Set a breakpoint in your code and run it with our debugger. Start using our many visual debugger features. A conditional breakpoint. And step through code. You can even step into code in other Jupyter Notebook cells. First, run that cell under the debugger. Then, in the cell that calls that code, set a breakpoint and step in. In fact, you can step into code outside of the notebook in your regular Python modules. 2019.1 lets you get started quickly with your notebooks. You don't need to start your server or kernel manually, just open a notebook and then run a cell. PyCharm creates a Jupyter run configuration automatically and starts the server with the appropriate kernel. Data scientists like to see their variable values as they work in Jupyter. In 2019.1, the variables tab opens when you execute a cell. View simple values inline and expand objects to see detail. Don't like our styling? In 2019.1, all JetBrains IDEs have greatly improved support for theming much more of the UI finding themes, customizing, and sharing. For example, switch to the dark purple theme by finding the plugins in our marketplace, looking for themes, and then selecting dark purple. After an IDE restart, the IDE uses the new theme. Want to customize it yourself? We've added docs for that along with documentation on creating and sharing your own theme. Our recent files pop-up is one of the best ways to navigate your code. Our new recent locations pop-up goes one step further by showing the context even for different locations in the same file. Invoke the pop-up to see recent locations, lines and files, rather than file names. Most recent visit is first, with the context around the line, marked in bold, that you're about to jump to. Use the keyboard to navigate through the list, or use speed type to filter by code text, file name, or breadcrumb. Want to narrow further to only lines you recently changed? We've got that too. Recent locations is a great addition for the skill of navigating your ID by code, not files. Inspecting very large values at debugger breakpoints just got easier. In 2019.1, if you have a collection with more than 500 elements and set a breakpoint, running under the debugger can now display them. The first few items are visible with a link to see more. Some projects support multiple Python versions. PyCharm 2019.1 makes it easy to switch between project interpreters. The status bar now has an interpreter indicator showing the current project interpreter. Clicking on this brings up a menu listing other interpreters that you can switch to. The menu also has an option for going to the interpreter settings 
or adding a new interpreter. Want to speed up test running by using PyTest XDist for parallelism? 2019.1's Test Runner now supports multiprocess testing. First, make sure you have PyTest and PyTest XDist installed with PyTest as your project's test runner. Then, in your PyTest run configuration, specify the number of CPUs to use. When you run your tests, PyCharm adds a top level entry for each CPU and spinner indicating progress, then reports elapsed time on finish. We're proud of our non distracting inline documentation for Python, JavaScript, and other languages. 2019.1 brings quick documentation to CSS. Put the cursor on a CSS property and bring up quick documentation. You'll see an inline panel with docs, parameter info, and hyperlinks for that property. PyCharm 2019.1 is a big release for us, and we're happy to ship our major new ideas on delivering IDE features in Jupyter, along with other improvements. We hope you enjoy this release, and thanks for watching this What's New video.